What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. Today, we have got brand new milestones, uh, brand new teams objective. Oh, hold on, I can claim my rewards here. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the content, you want to drop a thumbs up, it'd be very much appreciated. Of course, if you guys want to come and watch the content live, you can do that. FB.GG slash Nepenthes. Link is down below. I'm literally live right now. Right now. If you're watching this before, like, basically 1 a.m. UK time, I'm pretty much live. Um, there is a new SBC. My stream ruined it for me. As you can see there, it's Flashback Joe Hart. Um, I don't know what it's flashing back to. His prolific 2011-12 Premier League season. There's no more icons yet, which is really sad because there should be. The league SBCs are a day closer to expiring, which is fantastic news because hopefully we get some different slash more. Um, and there is also a what if challenge for a premium Electrum players pack. And it is going to cost you 10 rare players, two gold players, 70 rated. It's a tradable pack in return. Is it worth it? Probably not. Um, but that's all there is. Uh, for me personally, I, I struggle to get excited over a goalkeeper flashback. But with regards to Joe Hart, the fact that he's six foot five in game is big. Now, he only just got added back to the game a few days ago. They actually added a whole bunch of uh, like golden oldies. Gail Clichy, um, Edison Cavani, Ricardo Caresma, uh, Rafinha, the ex Byron player. So I wonder if we're going to start seeing a lot of. Uh, flashbacks um from those cards that particularly got put in there of course with a glove chem style he'd be good he's got good reflexes good positioning anyway he's very fast which is very unique for um a goalkeeper and at six foot five he'll have that pope uh kind of idiocy really in in the way of uh the fact that you know his arms will just be so long with that being said, it's one squad to complete. I think an 84-rated squad would be fair. No more than that. It's an 85-rated squad with a City player. I think that's a bit expensive. What's that? That's like, what, 180k? Something like that? 190k for an 85-rated squad? It's a bit steep, isn't it? It's a bit steep. Um, What promo packs have we got? Oh, they removed the 100k packs. That's not very nice. Um, I, I I do I think he'll be good. Obviously, he's super easy to link because he's English and Premier League. So you know, if you've got your Carl Walker or whatever, he'll be easy to link or whatever. Um, but yeah, I think an eighty-five rated squad is probably would would probably be a lot fairer. Um, obviously, some good news from today as well, guys. Uh, Tavernier is going to get his upgrade. Rangers won their fourth game in a row, which is fantastic. He's faster than Team of the Annoyer, yeah. Um, Leroy Fur is going to get his upgrade. Uh, Feyenoord won 6-0 today. So Wednesday, he'll get upgraded. And um, Wendell SBC is also going to get upgraded. They got a clean sheet today. Uh, Udinese have scored one goal, uh, which means um, Pereira's what-if card is one more goal toward um, completion. I think they got two in the first game. I think maybe one. Um, Prem tax needs to stop. Yes. Yeah, oh, walkout. Inform walkout. Portuguese. What was this, Ronaldo? Oh, it's Ruben Diaz. Not bad. Yeah, the Prem tax is a bit. Oh, Jesus, two eighty four. So Prem tax is a bit weird on this one because you know you've got like the red inform Pope. We'll have a look at Pope's price. Let me open these promo packs and we'll have a look at Pope's price. But a bit of a slow day for content again, which is actually coming quite typical for Saturdays. Um, Saturdays are generally becoming a, a very slow day for content. Um, you know, Sundays are actually becoming a bit of a better day. Like tomorrow, I would expect upgrade packs, uh, maybe um, maybe like a an SBC, um, like a party bag SBC or something like that. Hopefully, we get some new icons tomorrow. Hopefully, there's icons in draft from today. I don't know. To be fair, he's 91 rated. They're worth 128k. Yeah, but he's untradeable. It's not like you can complete the SBC and then sell him, is it? He's, he's he's untradeable. Um, also, as a goalkeeper, also, the fact that he's 91 rated is irrelevant. You had that Luis Suarez that was available to play for. It, 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 you know what I mean? Like, 
you've got currently an 89 and an 88 rated player available to play for. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I don't personally think that the argument of, oh, but he's 91 rated really should be taken into consideration. Um, I, I, I think it should just be fairly priced. It, it, it will be interesting to see. Let's go and have a look on Footbin. Um, first of all, the, the popular players are going to be uh, going to be quite interesting. So Haaland, of course, scored two goals. Fur and Sancho is obviously well on his way then. Um, Tav is popular. Pope is popular. And Pope is popular because he's 71k as a tradable. And of course, he's done broken, right? So when we compare him to Joe Hart, of course, there's not much by way of in-game stats or whatever. 200k for this Joe Hart. It's just crazy. Now, fair, fair enough, right? Hart's got three more diving. Five more handling, two more kicking, five more positioning, 19 more speed, and seven more reflexes. And if we compare him to Team of the Year Neuer, he's got more speed, little less reflexes, little less positioning, way less kicking, which doesn't matter, way less diving, and a bit less uh, handling. Now, of course, the glove, you can't put the goal goalkeeper chem styles on these guys, can you? Um, the glove chem style boosts the diving, handling, and positioning. Joe Hart will be a very good card. There is no two ways about that. But when you actually look at the price of Neuer, 96 team of the year, right? You start to get an understanding of why almost 200,000 coins for Joe Hart is a bit of a ripoff. Uh, also, something that's important is that goalkeepers don't get reaction stats upgraded in game. Right? He'll have the same reaction stats as his gold card. And that is a big deal. And the reason why that's a big deal, it, it reminds me of um, in old FIFAs, this guy. What's that, what's that Polish guy's name? How do you spell his name? Tior is silver this year. This guy, right? This guy in previous FIFAs had a team of the season that looked insane, but was actually tragic. Now, before we go and show you why this was tragic, it looks insane, right? 30k, 93 shooting, 90 physical. Decent pace, dribbling and passing, right? Whatever. The problem was, is that EA did not upgrade composure on players this year, right? So he had 42 composure, which meant it didn't matter, not one little bit, the fact that he was considered a 94 rated striker. The fact that he had 99 in all of the key stats, insane physicals, great heading as well. It didn't make any difference because he had 42 composure, which meant he just missed loads for no good reason ignore the fact he's two star two star as well the fact that they didn't up upgrade composure in this game was a problem something that they've continued to do with goalkeepers is not upgrade reactions and ea won't tell you and it doesn't come out anywhere in the game there's no files to suggest it or anything but the best goalkeepers in this game have high reactions right and so the fact that they haven't upgraded his reactions means that even though his face card stats and his, his like general stats are good, he will be absolutely prone to some moronic, moronic mistakes, which is why goalkeepers typically, uh, when we look at someone like Neuer, never, ever, ever get better when they get better because Neuer still only has 86 reactions as a team of the year. And that's why you'll hear people say, I used his team of the year. It was nowhere near as good. It, it, it wasn't better than his other one. That's because he's got the same reactions. And in regards to Pope, I think Pope, Pope's definitely a bit of a unique one because I don't know what his reactions are. It's only 75, but he's got, he's six foot seven. He's got those massive, long, gangly arms. He's got comes for crosses, which is massive. He's got saves with feet, which is massive, especially because his legs, uh, of course, are also so long. Um, I, I, I think, I genuinely think Pope is quite an anomaly. He just has everything else that is perfect. Uh, what does Hart have for traits? If anything at all. Cautious with crosses and that's it. Um, and of course he's 6'5". I, I, I don't, li listen, don't get me wrong. I don't think Hart's going to be terrible. I think he'll be decent. I just don't think he's worth 170k. I, th I think that's a bit of a bit of a dumb price. Now, Haaland scored two goals today already for Dortmund. 
Um, so if he gets another inform and another upgrade, that would be pretty insane. He's getting there, guys. He's getting there. His stats are getting... His team of the season will be nutty good. He is getting there. Um, but that's all there is for today. So the daily SBC, the Joe Hart flashback. Uh, no new objectives or anything of the sorts. Um, yeah, Fur is going to get his upgrade. Uh, Tab's going to get his upgrade. And who's the left back why is he not here anyway the the, the left back's going to get his upgrade as well but that's going to be the end of the video for today guys if you did enjoy it be sure to like rate and comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't already but for now guys i'm out peace